this tutorial we will be learning to create a sticky header like this one this is the mobile view so let's begin our lecture now we begin installing the required plugins plugins add new the first one we required is elementor I will update the existing one I already had it the second one is elements kit install activate now I'm going to install the third one sticky header effects this one here sticky header effects for Elementor install and activate all three plugins are now installed after the plugins are installed the first thing we need to go we need to do is we will go to elements kit and make sure that nav menu header search and header footer are activated if they are not activated you can activate them we will now go to elements kit header footer click add new give it a name site header activate save changes you can now add it add it content this will now open with elementor here you need to make sure your canvas is Elementor canvas no need to have Elementor full width so always have Elementor canvas after that you can have columns from here from here you can have this one perfect in the middle one you can have your nav right nav in the search bar and select element kits nav menu select the menu now now you need to adjust the menu height to maximum of 64 pixel this much is enough and update now I'm going to give this section a background so I will click these dots to edit the section click style tab normal background select color
update now I will add the logo here is the logo good next I will add here a search icon I will use this one elements kit header search and change the icon to this one perfect update I will now visit my site this is my header now I need to adjust the padding for my logo and the search icon I will select the logo go to advanced tab unlink the paddings and give top padding of 5 pixels then select my search icon under the styles tab go down and unlink and give minus 5 padding for the top sorry this was the margin this is back to its position now update and then I will refresh the site and see how it looks like I'm back to the site going to refresh the page perfect everything looks aligned so my header is done next I will use some styling for my sub menu items I will go back to the header select the nav menu from styles tab I will go down select the menu item select the hover color the first hover color is this one so I will copy this and for the sub menu items under the hover tab I will paste this color that's okay these two are done hover color I will do all same color good and then I can choose the mobile menu logo from here not from here actually from here mobile menu settings mobile menu logo choose choose this one hamburger icon from the library I can write here burg so I will use this one as this is our fast food website menu settings now I'm going to styles tab hamburger style hamburger icon color to red and upon hover this should turn to blue you can say blue something like that hover should be red update and now I will visit my site 
again. Refresh the page. Now my hover color is working. Now in order to check the mobile view I will resize the window like that. This is the tablet view now. By default this is red upon hover it turns into blue. So I can also change the background color but for the moment I will leave it as it is. See this? This icon is turning to red when I hover. It looks okay to me. I also have a logo here. This bar is covering the uh, logo when I open in a different browser this will give it complete different look so my header is done I will check the mobile view now resize the window this is the mobile view and I need to adjust this icon here now I want all three aligned or either I can choose not to display this one on mobile I'm going back to my header and from here I will choose the tablet view first the tablet view is okay I don't need to adjust anything here the only thing I need to adjust is the mobile view so I will adjust these two columns and everything will be alright so what, uh, what I can do here is I can select this icon here the pencil icon and go to content the easy way I can do is I can resize the columns so I click the column and the column width I can do 25% and this one I can reduce to 25% and now I can increase them like you can say 30% this one to 35 and select the pencil content to the right alignment is right and now I can what I can do is do 40 here and 40 here as well 60 40 now I need to bring this one to the left Right. I will check it in under the styles tab so I will go down to hamburger style and I here I found position like that and I will try adjusting this one as well so I will select the pencil go to styles tab go down and give it left padding of 80 pixels this is done update and now I need to visit my site I'm going back to my site refresh the page 
resize the page and here it is this is how my header is looking like next what I will do is I will make this header sticky for the moment my header is not sticky so in order to make my header sticky I will go back to my header change the view to desktop select the section click here or else you can right click and edit section go to advanced tab go down to sticky header effects this one comes from the plugin we installed sticky header effects plugin enable and distance where it starts from my header is 64 pixels long so what I can do is I can say start from 100 pixels so when I scroll 100 pixels down this will work will become sticky I'm going back to my site refresh now when I scroll down I reach certain height see here I reach certain height the header becomes sticky when I go back gets back to its position this is how this will work if you want to learn how I made this logo in Photoshop I can give a link in the description you can watch my other video